Is Rachel here? Rachel? I spoke with her at like 1 o'clock. Okay. 1.30. Rene. This place has Looney Bin vibes. Looney Bin vibes? Aww. Oh, I thought. With the nice plants and everything. Nice. <laughs> were that to talk to the police, right? Right. Like if we, so if we, we have a duty to report. So our duty to report is if we feel that you're at risk of harming yourself or harming somebody else, or if the records are subpoenaed by the court, then we have a duty to inform the police. That seems pretty standard. Yeah, it is. It's totally standard. Am I allowed to be a babysitter? Are you allowed to be a babysitter? Yeah. Is there any reason why you shouldn't be? Is there any reason why she said anything about children? Oh, that's always our standard as well. So if yeah. you were to tell us... That's, that's the first time I've ever told her that. Oh, okay. So what we have... Yeah, what the, what the, we, we always say is that if you report the abuse of a child or an elder, we have a duty to report that to Those are our standards. No, it says if a child is in my care, they need to report that to the police. No, if the child, if you report the abuse of a child in your care. That's not what she said, though. She said, that's not what she said. Okay, so these are standard. So do you have a concern about your referrals? No, I'm concerned about what she said. Okay. There's, there's something now, I don't know just about. so that you know, we do not give consent to record our conversation. We don't have so, okay. If I'm at risk myself, or if there's a child or in my care. Or an intimate risk to a child in your care. No, if there's a child in my care. No, she said, if you're at imminent risk of, to yourself. I want to play back. Okay, I'm listening, and that's what I'm well, hearing. Well, I'm. Okay. So what are your concerns? We'll play together. No, I, but what I'm wondering is, okay, space for me, can you take it? Don't get a hold of this information. So, what would you like in terms of support? What can we do to help you today? At risk to myself, what can we do to help you right now? So what did she mean about a child what? in my care? Am I allowed to be a babysitter? That, yes, what she's asking, what she's telling you is limits to our confidentiality is if you reported the abuse of a child or an elder, in your care, That's not what she said. we have a duty to report. So I want to know if she knows something that I don't know. That, that, like, that, like, like you seem that you're like offended. No, I'm, not, I'm confused because I'm wondering like what you're, you're wanting. Well, I'm confused. I'm confused too. Okay, so and what, I'm wanting clarification on what she said. Okay, and that's... that's if, there's a if, if a child is in my care, she needs to report it to the police. No, that's not what... That's not well, what Well, then why did she say that? To clarify what she meant in that Am I situation. under like investigation at all, or is this just like a referral? This is just a referral. Okay. It was a referral that was received from your doctor. So yeah, do you have questions I, about what's happening like as after your referral? Like, do you have questions about where? No, just what she said about that about okay. is just like, I'm like, is there something that I don't know? No, no. It's, oh, okay. it's our standard. What we we just want people to be clear where the limits to our confidentiality is. We just that that's kind of a standard 
um, think that will stay. Well, I hear a lot of staring things. Yeah. And I've never had a question or had to like ask someone about it again, except until today. Was there anything that she said that led you to believe that she was going to be reporting anything? No, I don't okay. care. Okay. No. No, I, I mean. I'm just, I'm just curious about that. Yeah. Just because you might not know the whole extent of what I'm going through. Right. Or. Yeah, what is it? Okay. So I just want to know for something I don't know. No. No. That's. Uh, and are like you sure that. without checking my phone? Yes, because I. Yeah, I've been a clinician here for many years. So I but know are that that's something to say. Case, though? Maybe what, like before, what's, okay, what's if you want to like maybe like with all with, with just our chit chat okay. just now. So if I were to check something, what would you want me to check? With what we just talked about. So whether there is, if we have information regarding. With my concerns and what she said to me, and if there's anything that online. she that she's going to be reporting anything, you want me to. On like what she said to me, is there something that I don't know in my file? Can I see my phone? No, but you can request it through private, like through, there, um, there's a, an agency through um, Idle Tell that you can absolutely get your records. Will I see everything? Uh, like will everything be like released? Yeah, yeah, it's your record. Okay, can, can I have the process of like specifically on how to do that? Yeah, I'm yeah. under let a lot of stress and anxiety. Let me go grab the you seem really nice. I'm, I'm no mean to be no, have, okay. no, I'm I don't mean sorry. to be like, no, I mean, like, it's, uh, it's helpful for me to know, I, and it's the end of the day, my brain is a little bit foggy. So thank so you for I'm sorry sticking with your me. Chops at the end of the day. No, that's okay. Thank you for sticking with me. Let me go grab it for you. Thanks for your help. Wait one second. I'm getting it from the dog. We didn't have a ride. You got a coffee. No, you're good. Thank you. So here is the information. Here's an envelope. So this is how you a copy of your health records. Uh, know that it does take a while. I know that I requested my own and um, so what I've got here is your phone, the phone number as well. Depending on what services you're wanting, I wasn't sure if these are, if you received services at any of these urgent care centers or if you've received, um, you want your records from Jubilee, this is where you'll request that information from. Otherwise, if it's for us, it's for any other um, services that fall in here, that's the other number. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you Thank can you just, explain you. no problem. And so the phone numbers are there. If you have any questions, if you're sending it to the right place, feel free to give them a call. Any questions about your referral here and what was happening after you know, after your meeting with Rachel? Uh, I'm, I'm just creating distance because oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a bum. So, not by choice. But uh, was the conversation between Rachel and I like recorded? No, we don't record. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the deal with, um, I heard someone just talking about anxiety clinic. What's up with that? Okay, that is a specialized service. Um, it is groups. The anxiety clinic is groups. Um, and it's for people with anxiety or panic disorder. Hmm. Did you and Rachel kind of talk about? No, the only she, the only bullshit that she was pushing. Pardon? I'm I'm a truck driver, so that, that that's my truck driver language. No, I'm just the, sorry, the, I just the only the only bullshit that she kept on pushing was psychiatry, which okay. seems to be what the police are pushing. Okay because my class one of 20 years experience on the Jerry McCrane operating ticket has been taken away okay. by the police. And I have years of evidence, solid evidence to prove I'm not paranoid, quote unquote, that's what the letter of the concern is that the police are. Okay. And I've been wrongfully terminated at Coca-Cola as a class one driver. They paid me $10,000 because I proved um, unsafe work practices and mobbing. I was then offered, I worked at Peter later, I was offered a position, a class one position, but then the same thing from Teamsters and Local 81, which is the Hells Angels, I'm being gang stalked and mobbed by them. And I have proof of this. But to cover Peter Lair's ass on why I didn't get that job and why I was wrongfully terminated, I feel that the unions and lawyers are pushing, the police putting pressure on them that I have mental health issues. Gotcha. In short, there's yeah. lots of other things going on. So 
I'm not getting a lawyer or nothing like that because I feel that the best person to represent me is me, especially yeah. with all my evidence. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just trying to look into it. So I, I'm thinking that like a psychiatrist can go, like, right? And maybe talking to someone like maybe like anxiety. I just heard like anxiety thing. I've never heard of that before. I'm just curious about what that sort of is. Yeah. So if you are more interested in just connecting to supports, just to talk about, you know, like it sounds like what you've experienced, I would think if I was going through that, would it cause my anxiety to go through the roof? If you're wanting like more kind of support to connect to somebody to talk counseling wise I can get you some um, you know some information about different counseling services pretty much like my angle on that is is how can I get more supportive evidence on what's happening with me but the thing is is that no one wants to take responsibility right, right. like Dr. Nielsen I have to report it of us talking I know no one wants to record blah blah, blah but really it's the only thing that covered my eyes right, right. so Dr. Nielsen doesn't want to take responsibility. He says, there's only so much I can do, right? Right. So how can I get someone to admit what's happening to me and support that, right? Like, that's the angle I'm, like, I'm going at. Would that right. be anxiety? If it's group setting, probably not, I guess. No, no it's okay. more going to help you, support you in this moment, just kind of, yeah, um, being able to better manage the stress that you're under. I voiced it enough for you now. Yeah, no. Thank no, you for I answering just, I just don't know. Questions. Yeah, I just... I don't, I think that probably the recommendation for psychiatry is just so that you have documentation and clarity about uh, having someone say yay or nay. But that's, the good thing is that that's your option and you can say no. On the police and court side, it's, well, Renee, we offered you help. What more do you want us to do? Right. And but not the support that you're wanting or needing. That support is for someone that has made the wrong choices in life, and I haven't made the wrong choices in life. Okay. And that is a giant slap in my face for everything I've been through. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your week. Okay. If there's anything else, please give us a call, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you.